Lovin' is Easy by Rex Orange County. We're playing it on guitar. In the uh, regular version plays it on keyboard. Also plays it in the key of E flat major. We're playing it in E major. Uh, there's, I've, I've heard some live recordings of Rex Orange County playing this song solo on guitar. He's got a guitar, he's singing it, doing it in the key of E, playing the chords we're gonna play here today. Just So just to be clear, to recap the lesson thus far, uh, we will be learning the song on guitar, not on keyboard. Let us begin. First chord is an E chord. This is the E chord right here. Let me just, just in case you don't know it, might as well tell you how to play the E chord, right? You're gonna play the low E string open. That's the top string. Um, you're gonna put your middle finger on the second fret of the A string, the second string from the top. Uh, you're gonna put your ring finger on the second fret of the D string, third string from the top. Uh, you're gonna put your pointer finger on the first fret of the G string, the fourth string from the top. Uh, you're gonna play the bottom two strings open. That's actually only half true. We're actually not really gonna play those bottom two strings much at all. You're not gonna use a pick for this song. No pick. Picks! Not allowed. You're gonna use your thumb to play the E string. You're gonna use your pointer finger to play the D string. You're gonna use your middle finger to play the G string, and you're gonna use your ring finger to play the B string. You see how my fingers are all lined up like that? That's how we're gonna do it. So I'm just gonna, I'm just like grabbing the strings, pulling them like that, using our fingertips. You got a problem with that? E chord, I already told you the E chord. Get your fingers in position over on your right hand, then play me that E chord. There it is, first chord of the song. E chord, first chord to Lovin' Is Easy by Rex Orange County, played on guitar. Um, the next chord we're gonna do is an F sharp minor seven, pointer finger, second fret on the E string. We're not gonna play the A string at all. Uh, go ahead and put your middle finger on the D string, second fret. Put your ring finger on the G string, second fret. Put your pinky on the B string, second fret. You see that right there? All lined up on the second fret. Uh, would you please get your right hand fingers in position and play me that chord? There it is, we did it. Um, would you please take this same shape with your hands where you're all crammed into one fret like that, and would you go ahead and move it one fret? Two frets up, so now it's on the fourth fret, but it's the same shape as the F sharp minor seven, but now because we moved it up to the fourth fret, it is called the G sharp minor seven. Get your fingers in position, pluck the strings. That is the G sharp minor seven chord. Let us play these three chords all together as a group. First E chord, play it. Oh, beautiful, great job. Uh, then the F sharp minor seven, everything on the second fret, nothing on the A string though. We're not even playing the A string over here. And you're gonna play that, the F sharp minor seven. Uh, move it to the fourth fret. Are you ready to learn the fourth and final chord for the main part, the A section, to Lovin' Is Easy by Rex Orange County? Uh, would you put your pointer finger on the seventh fret of the E string? So we skipped the fifth fret, skipped the sixth fret, went right, right to, to the seventh fret. I have a dot on my seventh fret. Do you? It might come in helpful to find that seventh fret. Pointer finger on seven of the E string. Skip the A string. Put your middle finger on the seventh fret of the D string. But this is where things change. We are not going to press on the seventh fret of the G string. You're going to skip the seventh fret for now. Put your ring finger on the seventh fret of the B string, the second to bottom string, and then your pinky plays the eighth fret on the G string, which happens to be the third string from the bottom. That is the world famous B7 chord as performed by Rex Orange County in the hit song, Lovin' Is Easy. B7 chord, let's play those four chords in a row. Then we will learn the rhythm to the song. One, two, E chord. One, 
two, then switch to the F sharp, second fret, then up to the fourth fret. Oh yeah, then here we go to the seventh fret, move things around right there. I think that last part going from the G sharp minor seven to the B seven, I think it's kind of tough. I think that's kind of hard to play. I think it's kind of a challenge. I think that I, that we're gonna practice it right now together as a pair or a group. There's more than one of you out there. Maybe only one person right now watching, but I'm not recording it. Let's just let's just practice it. So you got that G minor seven, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Uh, when you switch to the B seven chord, here's what I recommend: lift up your pinky, but only your pinky. Move everything up to the seventh fret. Move your ring finger down and then add your pinky last. So we're going G minor seven, lift the pinky, slide up to seven, ring finger moves down, pinky goes to the eighth fret. Bingo. Bango, that was a close one. Bongo. Bingo. Um, I have a question. How many times do you think you should practice that switch from the G sharp minor seven to the B seven before you feel comfortable doing it? I'm gonna say 250 times. Okay, uh, so now that we've learned the chords to the first part of the song, what do you say we learn the rhythm this first part of the song. Now, when you listen to Mr. County playing this song live on guitar, he changes the rhythm from, from section to section. Sometimes he'll do the rhythm one way, sometimes he'll add in an extra little thing, sometimes he'll do some stuff, sometimes he'll play those notes, sometimes he'll play these notes. He changes little things. He always uses these basic chords and he always uses the same basic groove to the song. What I'm going to show you right now is a repeatable, exact rhythmic pattern that we can use the whole time and it's gonna work great. And then as you get more familiar with playing this, more comfortable with playing this, you can add your own little twists and turns to it. On the E chord, get the E chord ready to go. You're gonna do it like this. You're gonna go thumb by itself, then fingers by themselves. So it's thumb, fingers. Just right on the beat, just one, two, three, four, thumb, fingers. Then you're gonna do thumb fingers again, but it's gonna be faster like this. One, two, three, four. Thumb, fingers, thumb, fingers. Like the old thumb fingers. I think I've made that joke before in the past. They call me old thumb fingers. I don't think that qualifies as a joke. I think I made that joke last time too. One, two, three, four. Bing, bang, bing, bong. Hear that? It's like slow, slow, fast, fast. Slow, slow, fast, fast. Let's practice that three times in a row. Not once, not twice. Three times in a row. One, two, here we go. And thumb, fingers, thumb, fingers. Again, thumb, fingers, thumb, fingers. Oh, thumb, fingers, thumb, fingers. In the actual song, we're only gonna do it one time in a row. We're gonna go bing, bang, bing, bang. Then you are immediately going to go to the F sharp minor seven chord. Let's play it. One, two, three, four, E. Uh. I like, um, I like saying uh when I anticipate notes. It helps. It might help for you too. You never know until you try it. Uh. It's kind of fun. Uh. That's a wrong note. Let me show you what happens next. After we go thumb fingers on the F sharp minor seven, you're gonna play this little thing with the F sharp minor seven. You're gonna go thumb by itself, pointer finger by itself, your ring finger and your middle finger together on the G and B strings simultaneously, and then right back to the thumb by itself. So that was thumb, pointer, boom, thumb all whilst holding the F sharp minor seven chord. Watch what it sounds like when we put all this together. You can also listen to what it sounds like. One, two, here we go. And boom, ah, boom, ah, uh. Moving on. 
immediately switch to the G sharp minor seven chord, you are going to play thumb by itself, fingers by themselves, thumb, fingers, again, the exact same rhythm we played on the E chord. That one. So we're just up here on the fourth fret going bing, pow, bing, pow. Let's put all three together. One, two, three, four. Mm. Mm. That's that's our, our basic pattern, but we still have to add the B7 chord. On the B7 chord, get your pointer finger up to that seventh fret immediately because we would like to more often than not anticipate that note. Then get the other fingers ready and just play them one at a time like this. I'm just going pointer, middle, ring. Let me show you what this sounds like in action. One, two, from the A, here we go. Barely made it. See my pinky panic at the last minute there? This is our thing we're doing for the verse. It's fun, it goes. Um, how's it go? Loving is easy. I started singing the song and it did not go well at all. Before we learn the B section to the song, we are going to play this primary A section of the song dos times in a row. That's Spanish for two. I'm surprised you didn't know that. One, two, E chord, E. Um. Uh. Remember what I said about how he will do some different rhythms as he as he goes? He'll sometimes he'll go like this, sometimes he'll go. Sometimes he goes. Or maybe he goes. Or maybe he goes. Or maybe he just goes. Or maybe he goes. Or maybe he goes. Let's learn the next part. Uh, after you play that first part, I don't know, I'm gonna say eight times, four times. I didn't count. What am I supposed to do, count parts of songs? After you play that first section several times, so we ended on the B7, you're gonna go like this. You're gonna go ba, ba, ba. You see what I did there? Let me break it down for you. I played the B7. Then I played a B flat seven, which means I take that same shape and I move it to the sixth fret. I go bing, bang. But then a little chord I like to call the A major seven chord. Pointer finger on the fifth fret of the E string. Skip the A string entirely. We don't need it. We don't care about it. Never did, never will. Ring finger plays the sixth fret on the D string. Your pinky is going to play the sixth fret on the G string. And then your middle finger is gonna play the fifth fret on the B string, which happens to be the second string from the bottom. You're gonna play that chord. We're just gonna, for right now, you and us, me and him, we're gonna play this all together, just all four notes. One nice, gentle pluck of the chord. One, two, three, four. A major seven. Then we're gonna switch to a G sharp, Minor seven, you've already played it. It's that one with all your ducks in a row on the fourth fret. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You're gonna play those two chords three times in a row. Here's what I mean by that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, then again. Uh -huh. Hey, ho. Man, oh yeah, here we go. Last time, G sharp, uh, two, three, then. G major seven. Remember that A major seven chord we played a minute ago? It's gonna be that same shape, but you're gonna move one, two frets over, so it's on the third fret. Third fret on the E string. Nothing on the A string. Uh, ring finger, fourth fret on the D string. Pinky fourth fret on the G string, middle finger third fret on the B string. G major seven chord, love it, beautiful, fantastic, amazing chord. Just play all those notes together. 
uh, then we're gonna go to an F sharp minor seven. Remember that one? It's the second chord we learned today. All fingers on the second fret, skipping the A string. Then we're gonna play a B7 chord. It's actually, it's actually more specifically a B9 chord. You've got your G, yeah, you've got your F sharp, minor seven. Please lift your pointer finger up, get it out of there. Take your middle finger, move it from the D string to the A string. I just moved it one string up, so now it's on the second fret of the A string. Pointer finger plays the first fret on the D string, third string from the top. For this chord, and only, this is the only chord in the entire song we're gonna do this with. Instead of your thumb playing the low E string, that top string of the guitar, your thumb is gonna come down and play the A string. Your other fingers are gonna play the same strings they were playing before. So pointer fingers on D, middle fingers on G, ring fingers on B. That's the B9 chord. Will you B9? F sharp minor seven, B9 chord. After you play this chord and hold it out for four beats, you're going to strum it. You're just gonna use like your fingernail and your pointer finger, or you can use your thumb if you want. I use my fingernail and my pointer finger. You're gonna strum it five times. One, two, three, four, five. Let me play this whole section of the song for you. One, two, three, four. Oh, okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. We ended on the B7. One, two, three, bow, bow. Gun, grab, go, bow, bow, two, Three, four, sweep them back, go bow, bow, uh, e, ah, sweep up, bow, 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 hey, here we go, and bow, 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 da, da, bow, bow, hey, ba, 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 loving is pee loving is poo poo, you know that I love all the things that you do, hey, okay, I. I am not as good a singer as Rex Orange County. Do we need to, re I don't want to review the first section. How do you end the song? I guess that's a good question, right? Uh, you end it with this B7 chord. So we go back to the gonna end it like that with our favorite chord the b7 so this is a song that rex orange county plays uh sometimes he plays it on the keyboard sometimes he plays it on the guitar sometimes he plays it in the key of e flat sometimes he plays it in the key of e like we just did and that's it <laughs>